We have some social media questions for you. Leslie Berry on the Larry King Now blog. What can parents be doing with young children to promote memory storage? You can read to the children and ask them to repeat after you, or at least to, to, to summarize the stories that they've heard after that. You can encourage your kids to learn to recite poetry. Kids love that. And it's a very nice way of building up your memory. Leslie also asks, what's the biggest misconception about neuroscience? Well, we don't have enough conceptions of neuroscience to see what the major misconceptions are. I think most people don't realize that the brain makes us who we are, that the brain uh, you know, not only is a storage house for information, but is responsible for all of your actions, all of your thoughts, all of your behaviors, and it really is the determining fact of how we live our lives. And therefore, things that go wrong with the brain have dramatic consequences on people's lives. Do neuroscientists concentrate on things like psychiatry? Uh, not enough, but they certainly do. I'm a psychiatrist, and I got into neuroscience through psychiatry. Um, but it is true that psychiatry is still in a fairly primitive stage. Uh, we don't treat many psychiatric illnesses as effectively as we might, although we're getting better. We have drugs, though, don't we? We have drugs now that work, we have psychotherapy that works, and we have imaging techniques that show us how they work and where they work. So a lot of progress, but we've still got a long way to go. Flower Time Zones on Twitter. With regards to depression, is there any groundbreaking testing or treatment on the horizon? Well, actually, I would say that depression is something that we're beginning to understand more and more, the different kinds of depressions. Uh, they respond to somewhat different kinds of treatment. We have very good antidepressant medications that are really quite effective. And also psychotherapy is very effective for depression. So I think the treatment of depression is in really pretty good hands at the moment. At KJM 1016, does artificial intelligence worry you or intrigue you? It intrigues me. Uh, the more we can learn about how the brain mediates its functions, the better off we are. Now, a number of things with artificial intelligence may lead us in the wrong direction, but we can test those things. So I think that further study of the brain in a variety of different ways can only be helpful. I like Mel to ask, if memories allow us to view or remember our past, could we ever evolve to such a state that it will allow us to view our future? No, we can, we can make predictions about the future based on clues that we have about things that we see in the environment, but to predict it with accuracy, it's a game. It's a crapshoot. No one knows what's going to happen in the next minute. Some people are more sophisticated in putting together the facts that are on the table than others, uh, but that's all. It's a guessing game. Some are better guessers than others. Alejandro on Twitter, once Alzheimer's sets in, is there any way to recover memory loss? Uh, at the moment, it doesn't look like that because the Alzheimer plaques are very difficult to, to uh, dissolve. But that doesn't mean that, that we can't come up with something that in a long time will do it. The worry with Alzheimer's disease is that when these plaques form, they also, in, in the course of, the, of the, the disease process, kill nerve cells. And there's no way we can get back nerve cells that we've killed. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.